What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your Switch Pro Controller or your Joy-Cons to your Steam Deck. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Miss Mo Davis. Thank you so much for being a channel member. If you wanna get shout outs in videos like this, click on that join button below. So onto the video itself. The first one we're gonna do is the Switch Pro Controller because it's the easiest. Uh, I have a mouse connected to my Steam Deck just to make it a little bit easier on me to actually get this connected. We're gonna click on the Steam menu and then go to settings and you would think you go to controller but we're actually going to go to bluetooth and then we're going to make sure that bluetooth is on once it's on it's going to start searching for devices and on your switch pro controller you're going to hold down this button right on top so just hold that down for a while and you'll see it pop up as pro controller let's go ahead and click on that And you'll see on the bottom, it's now listed as a controller. And I can control the Steam Deck with it. Pretty cool. It even has this nice little blue light here. Very nice. And we can adjust things about the controller. If we go to controller and inside controller, we can switch between use Nintendo button layout to use the regular Xbox layout. This will switch the A and B buttons and the X and Y buttons. This will just make it more comfortable and more like an Xbox controller would control. Now, if we wanna do the same with our Switch controllers, it's still very easy, but there's an extra step because, well, there's two of them. So what we wanna do is just hold down that little circle button right there until it starts blinking like that. And you're going to see on the Steam Deck, it says Joy-Con L for left. Let's click on that. And we'll keep an eye on this. And now it's connected. And you can see I can control the Steam Deck with it. It's moving left and right, up, down. And because there's only one connected, we have to use it on its side. Because it's thinking that it's a single controller and you're going to have your buttons left and right. So the joystick is actually oriented like this but we can go ahead and connect the second controller by doing the same thing. On the right one, hold down the button until it starts uh, going back and forth. Then once it shows up on the Steam Deck, hopefully soon, there it is. We'll just click on that one to pair it. And now they're both connected. So if we use the controller now, it's properly oriented up and down automatically, so we can literally just use it like we would normally and even connect it into one of those uh, little controller docks. And the same thing applies. We can go to our Joy-Con left and right and adjust our layout. We can combine Joy-Con pairs or separate them and do all of our configurations there. So yeah, that's it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always bring something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?